Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make um, wavy text, and we're going to use both Canva and Photopea to do it. Now, I know I always say this is really, really easy to do, but in this case, it's just so, so easy. It is super simple and it's quick, and let's jump right in. So, here I am in Canva. I've just got the base part of our design. I'm gonna make another one right below this just so you can see how I created that. So I've added a new page. Type a T on my keyboard to pull up a text box. Now it's already in the font that I used up here on this design and the size. It's gonna be in a different font when you pull it up, but if you wanna follow along, this is the TAN Songbird, and I've made it pretty large and I'm just gonna come and type in the word senior. Let me turn on my caps lock. Okay, so there's the first one. And for this type of dot design, I'm just gonna duplicate it a couple times. And since this first set was red and black, let's do um, a different color. Let's do like maybe a blue and um, a I don't like that yellow. Let me fix that. There we go. Let's make it more of a goldy kind of yellow. And then we'll come back to blue again. Okay, so um, for the design that I did, I did put the um, outline around the words. It is up to you. If you want your outline, you can add it. If not, don't. But I am gonna go put them on here. Um, I think I'll just leave the black on all of them. So what we're doing is just selecting our word, coming to effects and adding an outline. And then it automatically puts it at a thickness of 50. Oh, that's not black. Let's make it black. I'm gonna put a black outline around everything. You can change the color of your outline by just clicking this box. Okay, so we have a black outline around our seniors and that's all we need to do. You do need Canva Pro for this to work because we need to download this design with a transparent background. So I'm just gonna come up here to share and download. And I only want page two. We did page one in the example. And I want it to be a PNG with a transparent background. So let me get that downloaded. Okay. And then we are gonna hop over into Photopea. Photopea.com, I will link to that. I'm gonna take my caps lock off here. And what we want to do is open from computer because we downloaded this design to our computer. So open from computer. Photopea is um, free to use. It's just a website, but if you're using the free website, you are going to get these ads over here it doesn't bother me very much. If it does bother you, you can subscribe to Photopea and pay um, a monthly membership to get rid of those ads. But anyway, we've got our design right here. This is what we created in Canva. Now watch how easy this is to wave it. You're gonna come to edit and transform and warp. Yay, nothing happened, right? <laughs> it's okay, you're gonna get these options here. I want you to come over to this one where it says none. This is the style that it's putting on for you. From here to get that wave that has the flat and top bottom, we are gonna come down to wave. Just like that, it has waved the middle of your words, but it has kept um, flat sides on all the sides. So you've got like that perfect crisp square with a wave in the middle, but that is not all. We can come, another one that I like is this inflate. Um, it makes it more of a round object or shape. I will show you how to set your um, edit here in just a minute, but before I set this to be its final design, I wanna show you all the other things you can do. The squeeze is also a fun one. Um, it's also fun to do these arches where that arches up or you can arch the other way as well. We've got um, a twist. 
which is more twisty, you can actually come in here and you can custom. So it took the twist and then when I did the custom, it's gonna let me like just play around with anything else I might wanna do to it. Like if I didn't think there was enough of a twist, I can come in here and mess around with any of this stuff that I want. I'm gonna hit this back to none. Um, okay, so what do we wanna stick with for the rest of this design? Let's stick with the inflate. Okay, so it's going off of the pages some, right? That's okay, don't worry. Uh, I think I do want to adjust, whoops, I'm going to hit control Z to get out of that. Let me put the inflate back on. Everything just went away. I've got to come back into my transform and my warp and my inflate. Okay, I was trying to make it a little bit more inflated, so I'm going to come hit the custom here. There we go. I want to drag this up a little bit, just make it a little more round than it was to begin with. And drag that one up. Okay, uh, Photo P is moving pretty slow for me right now, but that is just because I have my screen recording software going. It should work much better than this for you. So I'm just trying to make it a little more rounded. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna go with for now. Once the design looks the way you want it to, it's hanging off the pages, but we're gonna fix that. You get it looking just how you want it, and then you come and click this check mark up here. It's going to confirm everything that you've done. And now you've got these um, handles on the side where you can just come in and shrink that down a little bit and move it around until it's centered on your page. And now you can see the entire design. So that's what we're gonna go with. Let's save this. So we come to File, Export as, PNG. It's huge because we've made this 3000 by 3000. That's the size, it was a 3000 by 3000 pixel design here in Canva. So when Photo-P opened it, it opened it as a 3000 by 3000 pixel design. All right, uh, it can be named Senior One, that's fine. I do want it to be a PNG and I'm just going to hit save. And there it's saved, so let's go find it. Okay, so there's the rounded design that we just created in Photo-P. Now, if we took this into Canva, let's see here, I'm gonna add a new page, I'm gonna upload that design we just created. Upload files. Go get that guy there. Okay, so here's this. And then if we wanted to come in here, we could, um, let me make that a little bit bigger. We could add a year text, 2024. We could stick that on the front of it somewhere, or we could add a name or a sport or a number or whatever you wanted to do after you've got the, um, waving or warping of your design in Photo P. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you. We'll see you next time.